Coming up, the latest on the rate of the coronavirus in New York State. And two social media platforms make a big change that people may or may not like. The FTC Soundcheck starts now. Hello and welcome to the FCC Soundcheck. I'm Jacob Biela. And I'm Kim Ramirez. The rate of COVID cases continues to decline in New York State. We had a COVID vaccine clinic at the FTC gym on Monday. College officials say 136 people from five towns and the local community came in and got their shots. The governor announced yesterday that the state's positivity rate was at 0.65%. That's the lowest since early September. And Nassau's county executive says there have been no COVID deaths in Nassau County in the past week. The latest giveaway for people who get their shots is college tuition. New York plans to award 50 full ride scholarships to vaccinated young people as part of an effort to encourage children between 12 and 17 to get their COVID-19 vaccinations. Governor Andrew Cuomo announced to the Get a Shot to Make Your Future program on Wednesday. He says the state would give 10 scholarships a week for the next five weeks to SUNY schools or the City University of New York. The Beth Page Air Show at Jones Beach is back in action this year. Here is Anthony Cappiello with more on the preview day, which is going on right now. Here at Jones Beach, people are gathering and pilots are practicing for the Jones Beach Air Show. This is the first air show here at Jones Beach since the COVID-19 pandemic. Social distancing is in place and there's a cap on the crowd. It is a little cloudy today, but it might be the best day to see the air show since this weekend is predicted to have rain. I'm Anthony Cappiello reporting. We'll see how the weather is for the air show this weekend. Here's Millie Twells with the forecast. It looks like we're going to have to deal with rain both days. Today, mostly cloudy with rain likely this afternoon. Highs in the low 60s. Tomorrow, rainy, breezy, and even cooler with highs in the lower 50s. Wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Sunday, cloudy with a 50% chance of rain. Highs in the upper 50s. Memorial Day Monday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 60s. And Tuesday, mostly sunny with highs in the mid 70s. Right now, it's 64 degrees in Dix Hills. Back to you. Will they be having seatbelt checkpoints? The Suffolk County Police Department is participating in the annual Buckle Up New York Click It or Ticket campaign, an effort to encourage all to fasten seatbelts. As part of the campaign, running from May 24th through June 6th, officers will educate drivers on the importance of buckling up. WFTU got spooky with Halloween in May. Sean Lanigan led the Zoom event last Saturday night. There were costumes, Halloween trivia, and more. Hopefully, we can look forward to some more in-person events next semester. This past Wednesday, FTC students came together to play a famous trivia game. RHA and FTC freshman Trey hosted RHA game show night in the Upbeat Cafe. Students tested their knowledge on various topics in the trivia game Jeopardy and had the opportunity to win prizes throughout the game. Students were also able to munch on delicious foods and enter in multiple raffles. The downbeat had a Latin flavor last night. R.A. Teresa and R.A. Maria hosted a Latin dance night in the downbeat. Students had the opportunities to learn different Latin dance moves while having fun with their friends. This was one of the few in-person events that has taken place since the pandemic began. Masks were required, but everyone still had a great time. You might know him as part of the popular FTC group Resounding. Five Towns College students who performed together and have since graduated. Now, Kid Galactic is working on his solo career as rapper in Brooklyn. Star Fuentes reports. 
with that solid motive. Growing up, music was always a huge passion for the now 24-year-old Queens native Kid Galactic. He released a song in high school, and ever since then, his love for music grew into a dream of a career in the music industry. So I'm an artist, but my inspirations I draw from, obviously, Kid Cudi. That's like Kid Galactic, Kid Cudi. And the funny story about that, one day I was heartbroken, and then I just went outside on the bench and sat, and I looked at the stars, and I was like, yo, I feel like a kid in the galaxy. And that's really how Kid Galactic came about. Kid Galactic wants people to feel positive when they listen to his music, especially during these uncertain times. The pandemic, in the beginning, it affected the music with me and my group because it was just like out of nowhere. We was all had, we had plans to drop a whole track. We all had to slow down with our music and it kind of gave me time to find my own sound. I'm trying to also transition and be more intentional with some of my lyrics, you know, and like get better as a songwriter. Kid Galactic believes that it is important to stay positive and active during these times. KG received the opportunity to work here in this studio simply by networking. He believes networking is the key to success. I was working at this other studio down the hall and then like, I came by, knocked on the door, the owner opened up the door and he showed me some things. I showed him a mix of mine. And from there, he let me start an intern here. But sometimes I, I work as an engineer as well. Kid Galactic plans to release new music soon. Right now, I'm working on like just recording more and more music. Like one song I recently done is called Focus. It's my track um, that I plan on releasing. New day, thinking about a movie that I wanna see. You can keep up with Kid Galactic's music by following him on Instagram at Kid Galactic X. In Brooklyn, Star Fuentes reporting. Three tri-state teams have a lot of people buzzing, and there's two major events taking place this weekend. Joe Gucciardo has more. Thanks, guys. Man, the world of New York sports has been buzzing lately. And you could arguably say that it's being headlined by what's going on at the world's most famous arena. The New York Knicks defeated the Atlanta Hawks in game two of the team's first round playoff series on Wednesday night, leading to a pivotal game three in Atlanta this evening. You can catch tonight's game at 7 p.m. on both MSG and ESPN. The Brooklyn Nets are taking their 2-0 series lead to Boston, where they will face the Boston Celtics tonight at 8.30. You can catch that matchup on ABC. But the Knicks and the Nets aren't the only New York franchise giving locals hope. There's excitement on the ice as well. The New York Islanders earned a 5-3 victory over the Pittsburgh Penguins on Wednesday night, which handed the first round series to the Blue and Orange. While the schedule for round two has not yet been released by the NHL, we do know that the Islanders will face Taylor Hall and the Boston Bruins, who are coming off some nice rest after taking down the Washington Capitals. And if that's not enough, Two of the biggest spectacles in sports will be taking place. The 105th running of the Indianapolis 500 is Sunday at 11 a.m., and the Coca-Cola 600-mile race is later that night at 6. Wow, there's a lot going on this weekend. And that's all for sports. Back to you guys at the news desk. Instagram and Facebook have come out with the new ability to give users the option to hide likes on photos. This option includes hiding their own likes or hiding the likes from other people's pictures they see on their feed. Now, users will have control to decide whether or not they want their likes visible to them. Well, Jacob, it looks like likes will no longer determine fame. There goes a shot at being celebrities, Kim. <laughs> Thanks for watching the FTC Soundcheck. I'm Kim Ramirez. And I'm Jacob Bila. See you next week.